Hey guys, Angie here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future Part 11. So as you know, there hasn't been Into The Future Parts for quite a long time now. Over a week, maybe close to two weeks, I don't even know, but um, if you saw my update video, you know why. And um, I've decided to keep into the future until part 20 see what I feel like and where it's going by part 20 if I feel like ending it then I will end it at part 20 if I feel like carrying it on I'll carry it on it just into the future to me is just a bit controversial I mean it's the last expansion and to me like in my opinion it doesn't live up to the standards but that's just me you know that's that's just me <laughs> But, um, nevertheless, I am enjoying this family and um, I focused on seasons quite a bit. But now, Into the Future is going to be, you know, back on your computer screens um, if you do want to watch it. I know a lot of people, or like some people, um, would just prefer to watch my seasons let's play. I am totally fine with that. I really don't mind. Um, it's whatever you prefer, you know? Some people prefer Into the Future. Some people prefer Seasons. Some people watch both, you know? I, I honestly don't mind. Um, I I just don't mind. But, um, so we have Fawn in our family now, which is exciting. Because I love her. She's so cute. And um, now uh, Aaron is just... <laughs> I don't even know. He's just out playing on his computer. What's he doing? Playing chess. <laughs> Weirdo. But, um, we need to engineer a baby. So I think we're actually going to do that. I think we're actually going to engineer their baby, like, right now. I think that's really exciting. So, um, I reckon they could have a baby right now. I'm not rushing it. I don't care, you know? I reckon they can do it. <laughs> you know, they're so happy, you know. Um, customize or random. I think we should just go with random. She could do it with her good friend. Oh, wow. Um, we're just going to go random. And uh, we're just going to hope for the best. Hopefully it's a cute baby. Um, Danielle, Daniela is on her way to work right now. So we'll have her... She needs to suck up to her boss. You know, her relationship's quite lame with her boss at the moment. So she can do that. So we're just going to run on over to the hospital, I guess. Are they meeting up? Yeah. So yeah, we'll go over there. And we will come out with a little baby. Oh my goodness. And... Um, he wants to travel to the present, so we'll definitely go back there for, like, this part, I think. Like, in the morning, we'll go back. Um, have a little bit of time there, because they have been spending quite a lot of time in the future. So, uh, is this going to take a while? I don't know. What I do know is I can't zoom out. My, my scrolling working on the way out. Why can't... Alright, it's working by there. Alright, whatever. Alright guys, so I'm basically just going to skip until they come out of the hospital. Because it seems like it's going to take a while. So I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay, so they're about to get out and we have a baby boy. So, um... I'm not really sure on what to name it. Um... Oh no, I don't know, right, um... We're gonna call it Alex. Baby Alex. Alright. So we have a little baby! Oh my goodness, let's see guys. Baby Alex. Alex Lacey. Oh, that's such a cute name. Oh, <laughs> I am such a big girl at times. I really am. But um, Daniela also got this opportunity to work an extra shift. So um, she will do that at some point. 
that uh, is um, talking to CJ. They're apparently good friends, so that's awesome. She's like friends with everyone because she just like talks to everyone. <laughs> And this, oh, this comes up and says family member. That's really cute. I don't know if we have any, like, we're going to have to buy, like, a cart, ain't we? And we haven't really got money for a cart. Damn. We'll have to wait until Daniela finishes work so our household has money. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, um, we need to come and eat. Um, Fawn can carry the baby up here. She is exhausted. But we are going to travel to the future. To the present oh, even. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. And um, they'll live a life of normality for a, a little bit before coming back. Because I do want a future home. But it's just like getting the, the goddamn money. <laughs> Alright, so Daniela should be finishing work. And, um, we need to get a crib, and we're going to have to place it somewhere random, because everyone's rooms are all over the place, and it's just ridiculous. So, we'll put, we'll put the baby out in the corridor, because it won't disturb no one. <laughs> and by the, why, why, oh, there's a door. Alright then, we won't put the baby in the corridor, we'll put the baby somewhere. <laughs> we'll put the baby somewhere. Somewhere guys, somewhere. Right, we're going to put the baby in here. This is the crib that came with Into the Future. I absolutely adore it, it's so pretty. A very sleek. And um, obviously you could customise it to anything so you could make it look like a totally different thing. And that's really, really cool. Um, so we're going to come up here. Hopefully no one comes and sleeps in here because we're going to sleep in here. Um, we're going to dream. And then she can sleep. And then Daniela is on her way home. So she needs to get a tushy home. So why are you just standing around, Missy? Alright, so we should be going to bed now. Yeah, alright. So we can hopefully um, have a nice night's sleep. I don't know if the baby's going to be disturbing us or anything. But uh, yeah. So what are we going to have Aaron dream about, I wonder? Hmm. Let's have him dream about co-workers. Let's see what that does. And uh, Zeta is... Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Weirdo. Um, we need her to have the... Um, the What's it called? Robo Nanny. That would be awesome if she had that. It really would. So we're going to come and we're going to go to bed and I will actually skip until the morning. Okay, so Aaron is waking up right now. He has to get up for work. Um, so he is quickly going to get ready. And, um, oh damn, I've got to read that. But it says, Office Drone. Dreams of lukewarm relationships with his co-workers make Aaron more invested in office camaraderie. So basically, he had a good dream, which means that his um, his co-workers will like he'll have an improved relationship with his co-workers because he had a good dream. And I guess if he had a bad dream, then you know his relationship would be affected um, by that as well. So that's always, always, always interesting. Um, obviously, you know, you can do a lot of things in the dream part, for example. You can dream about a lot of things, actually. So, um, actually, I've totally forgot, but we can actually dream about The Sims 4, which was from the part where um, Daniela discovered the tomb, like the mysterious 
craft spaceship thingy, whatever, and um, she discovered that thing about The Sims 4, and that means she can actually dream about it. So she's having normal dreams right now, but obviously we'll speed it up, and then when she wakes up, we'll see, we'll see what happened in her Sims 4 dream. You know, that's that's exciting. Um, so we're just gonna speed up. A Why is always late for work? <sighs> so right, he doesn't really need to talk to his boss, so I guess we will hang out. So then, um. His relationship with his co-workers will go boom in high, so that's a good thing. But we're going to wake Fawn up now because I don't want it to sleep in all day, you know? And uh, do we have a meteor magnet? No, she's lying. But the baby's okay. We'll just give him a little snuggle and a little play with. And then we'll go ahead, um, get changed, you know, get ready. And we'll go get something to eat. And we will um, head back to the present when he... Well, probably before he finishes work, I'll have him leave work. Because I don't want to wait until 4pm. But yes, so we'll have a wake up now and we'll see what it says. Daniela got a chance to play The Sims 4 in her dreams. Daniela can't wait to make it a reality. That is such an awesome Easter egg. I love it. Oh my gosh. The Sims 4 is dreamy. That is awesome. Oh my. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Alright, so um, we're going to have Fawn come and not wash your hands. Use the bathroom and have a quickie cleanse and then we will have her come and get some breakfast oh I'm so hungry my stomach is rumbling all right and then we'll have Daniela come and eat as well does she have work today yeah but she's not going uh -uh. what's that doing she's talking to her best friend you know she has so many friends <laughs> oh my gosh Alright. Alright, so we're just, um... We're just having them get ready. Everyone's making food. <laughs> Alright, so phone's coming over. Good, good. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys actually do enjoy this Let's Play because um, I know it's not as popular as Seasons and like The Sims 2 and stuff like that, but I'm enjoying it, it's just... I don't know, I enjoy Seasons more in my opinion, but I do still enjoy this, it's still awesome, but you know how it is. You know, alright, so we're basically ready to go home now, so I'm actually going to have them go home. I, I don't care, you know. There's like rubbish everywhere and, you know, it's just time to go home. Especially because we have Fawn with us now and, um, you know, it's just, it's just a lot better, you know. Yeah. It's just a lot better. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head home. I will skip until we arrive. Okay, so we're back home and look at the weather. You know, this is not a very, very warm welcome. Especially because it's still summer back home, you know? And uh, we really need to sort this house out. I mean, we have no money, we have a baby to look after now, and we have no furniture absolutely great where the hell is the baby oh my gosh <laughs> oh my god we're gonna have to sell some stuff in our inventory um i didn't want to but i guess we could like sell all this crap i mean we could sell this because we don't use a guitar and we could get a baby bed at least you know um but we are gonna focus on our careers and getting money because we do need the money we're kind of desperate right now we don't have anything and um, we don't even have a couch which 
is kind of depressing, you know. We could have this, like, and make it like, you know, like the join on thing. Um, but right now there's no point really. So, um, it says, Great woolly llamas fawn lazy. A fluctuation in the space-time continuum may have affected your descendants. Go into the future to see what descendants may have occurred. So basically this says that about every single family member because things have changed and stuff. Um, but you know, that's just, that's just how the game works. Every time you do something different, um, it pops up saying, Your descendants have changed, blah blah blah, you know? So basically everyone is just going to rest because it is like late and she can go and clean up actually. <laughs> it is like late at night now, well you know evening and um, all they were basically doing is just going to bed. So um, we'll just do this quickly and then um, in the next part we'll obviously have a day at Bridgeport. We'll have a few days, we, we haven't even got them like normal life jobs yet so we'll definitely have to do that in the next part as for now though they will go to bed um i just forgot we haven't got four in a bed i wonder if we could like sell this yeah we'll sell this and we'll get them a double bed um is it we can't get them the dream part that is like way too expensive i'd imagine yeah we nearly have enough of it, enough for it, but our money would be gone. So for now, I'm just gonna get them just a simple bed, and obviously, I will be decorating their house as and when we do get the money. But um, this is just their their bed for now. Actually, she needs to use the bathroom, even though the toilets. Oh, we're not very good, are we? I'm not very good. I'm just waiting for the baby to pee himself so I can, yeah, there we go. So I can put him in the crib and he won't scream all over the place. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go bed, 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 bed. Alright. Okay guys, so I'm going to end this episode here. In the next part we will, obviously, she wants to join the criminal career? She's not, no. She's not even evil. I don't think Fawn's a criminal. <laughs> As I was saying though, in the next part we will get them their jobs. We'll have like our first full day in Bridgeport. Um, living the normal life for once. And um, hopefully we can get more money. Hopefully we can, like, you know, sort things out and stuff. So, as for now, I hope you've enjoyed this part. And I will see you all in the very next episode. 